All right. Welcome in, everybody. Another weekly edition. Uh, Bully the Board here, back with you for our podcast we, YouTube show. We are down a man. We're down Circus Steve. Uh, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be back with us uh, next week. So we, we we usually have a little update on the, the Circa Challenge that we do. We, we won't have that this week just because, um, yeah, we didn't, it was a last minute thing we don't have for you. But we'll we'll be sure to get it for you next time. So Week 12 is in the books, man. Um, Thanksgiving weekend, there was a lot going yeah. on, you know, both football and, you know, probably in a lot of people's personal life. So it was a jam-packed weekend, probably, no matter who you were, sports yeah. fan or not. So I, I don't know. what the Thanksgiving weekend, uh, the Thanksgiving week of football is always one of the, like, the best to look forward to, in my opinion, because even, like, super non-passionate football fans – tend to get into a little bit of football over the weekend. So how, how, how did you take in things and, and, and what did you take away from the – let me just do the Thanksgiving Day games first because yeah. there's three good ones, I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, ready or not, here I come. Like, I don't really care if my family was into it or not. Uh, my mom is here visiting. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I had uh, put in my time earlier in the week doing what they want to do, so it was football. It was football basically Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for me. Um mm-hmm. Good games, good games. I mean, we had uh, was, we had yeah. the two two of the like we'll talk about. We're gonna I guess get into it here in a moment, but yeah, we we had we knew we were looking yeah. for some live live action. We were only a couple points away, so we more than we knew we were more than likely gonna get yeah. that action. Um, what was the first thing? The first game with the Bills it was the Bills Alliance, which was surprisingly good. Yeah, like, that was a, yeah, that, and, that was and, just a and, solid and, game. So. Yeah, and then the model the model had that that basically you know they could they could struggle against them and um, you know we'll talk about that a little bit here in a couple minutes with the landscape but um, you know the Bills have been if you follow them either DVOA Massey Peabody EPA doesn't matter any metric basically the Bills have just been getting worse week by week so something to watch there. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, usually the Thursday games, you know, up until this point in the season are like the worst games of the week, you know. Just yeah, no, we got some heavy hitters. Of, in terms of watchability, but they, yeah, I think we had three solid games. So uh, two of them, obviously, you see here were on the uh, the card, or at least uh, were on the live lines to watch here. So the first um, the first game on the card of that day was the Cowboys and the, and the Giants. And um, they opened, I forget what they opened at, like maybe minus four five and a half or eight or something like that no no yeah it was like it was an eight and a half nine. it was an eight yeah, yeah I was, remember it, off top it, of creep, head, so. it creeped up for sure but um yeah that yeah, one and, man i mean the and the the giants were holding their own they were up 13 7 at halftime so this was a obviously a gettable line for us and, and oh yeah snag it um and then yep. we all know kind of how that how that played out cowboys ended up taking care of business and then the giants with of course the, the infamous or the back door me sneaking in the back door <laughs> i feel <laughs> bad was... for i feel i feel bad for anybody that 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 yeah. that was like one of the more sickening back doors because there was no reason <laughs> it needed to get back door like there was uh the, the the they were basically just like the game's over like let's just go home yeah. and eat some turkey and 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 listen man you know I, I, it's been talked about you you hear it talked about in certain circles this is one of the points of trying to build a model and, and having a model it's ruling in and out games and ruling out in and out certain lines yeah. and we, and i'll take it a step further yeah like quantifying uncertainty mm-hmm. so it's one thing to to say okay where's the edge but then it's also taking into account things like that you know that's why the model said you get this at three you you're 60 percent because that back door at three was never at risk right um so that you know that's kind of one of the the things to to, to you know it's one thing to say what is the spread Right. But fundamentally, what you're trying to do when you're sports betting is where's this actually going to end up? Right. And it's a whole those are you know two different questions, to be honest. Yeah, for sure. And then this. OK, so the second game of the on the on the card for uh, the Thursday night was the the last game of the day, the Patriots and the Vikings. Um, yeah. And this one, yeah, this one. Yeah. This, what do you say? We got, got robbed. robbed. No, yeah, they did because yeah. that well, the touchdown, if they don't call the touchdown, they the, the, the they go down and score. We, we lose by three. You know, I totally, covers. Yeah, I, I totally spaced and, on that. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So you it, it right. was frustrating. It was really frustrating because basically the model yeah. exactly called what exactly happened. They, you know, and and it was just like, ah, oh, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, Uncharacteristic special teams for them. And they gave up, 
you know, that point punt uh, block that, that they basically gave them a first down and they end up scoring. Yeah. But I mean, they were, it's that one's tough because they, he caught a touchdown pass <laughs> yeah. like, and, and yeah. then they say so, no. And then they kick the field goal. But the, those four points were basically everything for us. What are yep. you going to do? Yeah, they were. Mac they Jones, were, so. man, he, he, he looks bad in time. Like he really sometimes looks not good. He makes it so really bizarre because you just, if you yeah. just check the box score, he had a good game. Correct. But the last and, three plays, you're, you're like, whoa, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, you're right. But yeah, it's it's really hard to get a read on that guy. Or it's hard for him to get a read, I think, consistently. <laughs> <laughs> I guess young. He's younger. He's only got Still, he's got he yeah, got injured yeah. early on. So what? He's only played yeah. like less than twenty games, probably. Right. So I guess. So that one was a double whammy. Unfortunately, we did we didn't cover and uh, we didn't get a notch in the belt for the Patriots over futures, which we'll get into in a second. But. <sighs> yeah. And then the other two, um, both were able to be had uh live as well so yeah niners i think opened at like an eight or nine point um favorite yeah close it eight and a half eight and a half yeah and then yeah. um that game developed pretty slowly i mean it was a very low scoring game obviously in the first first half and i think the saints scored a field goal first maybe yeah um, if i recall or no they didn't they scored nada they scored zilch they they, they oh, the first niners blanked them um but it was three zero oh, oh first yes, quarter. yeah yeah um, uh, I think the 49ers the, scored a field goal first. That was their first yeah, score. Yeah, but then the Saints were inside the red zone, inside like the 10-yard line twice and, and yep. turned it over. And I think, I don't know exactly when you grabbed it, Seth, but that might I grabbed have been it in the second times. quarter. That nope, might have been one I, of the times so I was, one of those I was drives. Pretty, one, I, I was pretty sweat-free because even when the Kamara coughed it up right there yeah. on the goal line, um, even if they had that score, I, I would have we would have covered five and a half. So. You know, I right. get a I lot just, of. Gripe. I was just saying, in terms of when this line was actually oh, gettable. Yeah, it was second quarter. Second quarter. So that that might have been during one of those drives. So yeah, scoop that yeah. up, and then yeah, that like you said, relatively sweat free the rest of the way. Um, and then the Browns, the Browns, and the uh, and the Bucks. Uh, this was another one of those. If you just had the, um, uh, if you just like the if you just like the Bucks, I guess was just you know a backbreaker because Browns just come out and Tampa Bay, you know, only favored by three. But that game obviously goes into overtime. Um, and then the Bucks at one point were – because that game was on here uh, on TV, so I did catch oh, a little okay. bit of that one. And then it was like 17-10 at the end of the third, I believe. Let me double-check that. So, yeah, 17-10 at the end of the at, third. At the end of the game. It was the, – they, well, the Browns It was 17-17 at the end of the game. <laughs> well, sure, was, sure. But yeah. literally, the Browns converted on the last play of the game on the fourth right, down. yeah. Yeah, and then so so this this was a pretty gettable line late in the game as well, which um, scooped up and then obviously Browns, especially once they went into overtime, it was guaranteed cash. So overall, you know, three you know um, three wins, two losses, right? And, and every single one of these were were gettable, so they count as each one counts as a win, and the other two count as a loss. So profitable week. I mean, hard to hard to complain, right? Yeah. Well, and I want to I want to point something out because it's something that we yeah. get. I get a lot of people, not a lot, but I hear it enough that it's, I think, worth this under like describing or or going a little bit deeper. People are saying like these lines aren't legitimate lines because like a, like through five and a half, like where are you even getting these? Like this is just like some you're just basically like bending the truth. But we quantify our uncertainty. We generate a probability distribution of sixty percent probability of where the game will end up. Based off that, we know where the spread we're looking for is. It we, we we literally we knew it was five point five. We knew it was eight point five. So we when we we know going into the game, like the spread is only a couple points away from where we need it to be. Game dynamics can easily and more often than not, and can push and does push these games yeah. because more than half of these games, let's say the confidence interval and where the spread is, it's 16, 15 points away. We know we're not going to get those more than likely. But some of these, we go into the game knowing they're only a couple points away. And so that's why we're able to get them. And the other really important thing is we're not getting these at long odds. We're getting these at some – I get them at plus 100 even sometimes. Um, right. So, you know, it's nothing – You know, we're not taking shots at a dartboard. And 66% of all of the games played this season, the, the outcome of the game has landed within our prediction interval. Okay, 66%. So – you know, it's difficult for us to, you know, we show the record there, 23 and 35. It's difficult because it's hard for us to give you, we, 
like you can go to the website and see all the prediction intervals. And that's what we're using to bet because one game that's not on here is Houston Texans. We got them plus 24 and a half. How did we know that number? Because of the model. The week before we had eight total live plays, five of them won, right? So yeah. the, the way that you can use this model isn't really just this like um, tout like yeah. co- create a narrative for you. <laughs> really, it's we're quantifying the edge and the model is holding up the way we predict it to hold up. So I just think it's worth, you know, clarifying that the these aren't alternative spreads. These are in-game spreads that actually are available. Yeah. And it's yeah, yeah. So hopefully, I mean, we we collectively will be figuring out how to in real time, like, I guess, message this better, you know, because it's 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 difficult. I mean, it's it's yeah. nuanced. Let's 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 just call it like it is. And sure. There's a lot of there's a lot of people who find it hard to conceptualize, you know, because they just see the the classic touts and everyone's banger picks, like, oh yeah, take this spread, yeah. you know, whatever the marketplace has it, take this, take that, you know, and. That's 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 just how people have been sure programmed to to look at to look at plays. So yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. So well put, well said. All right, so jumping ahead then. Um, oh, this is technically through week twelve. We didn't we didn't update. Oh, the, I didn't update the, that. The top, yeah, the these are week fine. Yeah, week, week these 12. are through week twelve here. So uh, was not a, a great week uh, for the futures plays. Really, the only one that went in our favor was the the Colts they lost to the uh the, the Steelers so they they all but locked up I mean I think at the very le- literally the worst we can do if they go undefeated the rest of the year is um push Ten, right yeah I think so so uh, or no is there five weeks left in the season uh well 13 like including 13 right 13 14 15 16 17 18 six weeks okay you're right Right. Yeah. Yeah. So literally worst we can do on that under 10 under 10 is push. So I just, you know, just call it now, baby. That's a win. So we're, yeah, yeah. We're, no, we're I don't. pretty locked. We're pretty locked in there, but Panthers, man, talk to me real quick about what the WTF man. Cause I don't know what to think of them. But this is wild. This is wild though. You know what the current over under bet is. Don't tell me seven. Well, yeah. I won't tell you guess. What do you think it is? I haven't looked at the schedule or anything. This is just off the dome. Four and eight. Have they? They've had their buy. They have a buy like. this week. They have a buy this week. Oh, they have a buy this week. Okay. Yeah. So they have five so five games, games left. left. Six and a half. Is this, no, is it's it five and a half. No way. Yeah, that. So I when I saw that, I'm like, what the hell? So interesting. Vegas is like, fuck you, Panthers. I'm with you. This team is confusing as hell. Is confusing as hell. But yeah, they, so they, they have this round robin of quarterbacks. I don't know. Um, but I, I mean, they they, they handle business against the against the yeah. uh, the Broncos, Denver. you know. Yeah. And uh, it was just like, what what in the hell? So maybe that's why Vegas is kind of trying to t- forecast a little bit. It's like, well, we nobody knows who the hell's going to start, and <laughs> depending on who does, that yeah. can very well change the uh, change the trajectory. Well, there, so. I mean, we saw that with our model. We so we yeah, were, we because we. It'll give you some insight. So we incorporate starting quarterback. If Baker started, it it liked it liked Denver. If PJ Walker yeah. started, it liked the Panthers. And we're like, shit, we don't know what to do because we didn't really know. And then they're like, serendipitously, Sam they're like Sam Darnold. So we're like, fuck yeah. it, we don't have enough data. So um, it would get it wouldn't run, yeah. and so we we just no play, had no pick. Right. And look what we saw. I mean, so you know, it it was picking up. Like who's running that team is is quite impactful. Yeah. Okay. And then I wish I wish Steve was here to defend know, his honor same. on this one because uh, he is he's been all over the Bengals. Under he 10. says under, under, under. Yeah. And I know I know you guys did it, and then him and I did it last time too. Just kind of went through the exercise of you know their schedule. Who do they play? Win, yeah, exactly. And I think I had him pegged at ten at the end of the season. They're um, right at ten. That's still the over under. And I, it's tough. It's tough for I don't feel great about this anymore, man. Like Jamar yeah. Chase is coming back, and like they did the I same know. shit last year. They did the same shit yeah. last year where they started to just wait. I don't say wake up, but just and their defense pick is it good. up. We're gonna tie. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, with you. So whew, that one's that was tough. And then these last two, um, the 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 Patriots are the most uh, confusing. I think of them all for me personally. I think they they have two games left against the Bills still. So this is looking less yeah, this Thursday, less um, 
what I want to say. It's, it's not looking as good as I thought it would do a couple weeks ago because uh, they couldn't take care of business against the Vikings uh, this this past weekend either. So uh, three wins in, in, in six weeks. They got to go 500 doable, you know, but one of them I think is probably going to have to be against the Bills. Um, I don't know. I just, with Mac Jones, like we said, a quarterback, like you just you can't, you can't count on him consistently to, to, to get the job I done. I mean, to plug the model, the model says this week that it, it, it likes Buffalo. Yes. But within the distribution is that, that, um, they lose by 2.3 points. So, which is, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, the it's Bills have been on a down, a down side. I, 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 I think we go three and two. I think, I think that, um, I think we get, Maybe even maybe four and one, maybe four and one. I mean, the Saints are deader than dead. Saints, oh, Saints are, deader are deader than, than dead. dead. Yeah. So at this at this time next week, we can probably put a, a green check next to. Uh, well, I, mean, I, I guess the Panthers are on by. Uh, I mean, sorry, the the Colts. Um, we can yeah, probably put if, a green check Colts, next to the Colts, and then the yep. Saints will be uh, Saints will be a red X. So, um, well, we'll I think have, let's we'll, let's see if we can get. You know, we got. Um, I guess the, I guess uh, Buffalo's coming off. They get a normal week for them because they played on Thursday and then they're going to play on Thursday, so yeah. it's like a normal week. Yeah, um, are. Yeah, and but same with New England. They both played on Thursday, so it's like a both. So that's true. You know, I don't yeah, know. We'll Bill Belichick. This is in. Is, it, is that in? This one's in New England, I believe. In New England. Hmm. Yeah. Which sucks because that means you got to go to Buffalo later. So I don't know. I, I don't like I don't dislike that bet I don't dislike that bet um the, no, the not, not yet. I'm not there yet I'm with you I'm not yeah. there yet but it's 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 on it's on shaky ground for me mentally yeah but. I agree so anyways and I think we may push we may push Bengals as much as Steve is yeah <laughs> I think we may push that which I'll take a push I take a push sure, and sure. we did that on purpose we we, exactly, were, we could right. get nine and a half or ten and we went with ten 100 percent right yep so, so, and for for anyone who wasn't maybe aware, um, and maybe just hear this for the first time, th- these future plays were also based off of model. Um, and yeah, they they were they were key numbers. Like it, it mattered um, to be able to get ten and ten versus ten and a half. Like that's sure big difference. We're only talking about seventeen yeah. games. So, all right. So this is a uh, Seth. Why don't you give us a paint us a picture or paint us a better picture, maybe of this beautiful picture? Sure. <laughs> yeah. So lay before us here. Yeah. So this is the uh, efficiency landscape. So this is telling us how efficient teams are on offense, which is the x-axis, and then how how efficient they are on the y-axis. So good defenses are up at the top. You can see New England. Bad defenses are at the bottom. You see the Lions. Bad um, offense. Sorry if I said that. Good, bad. Uh, defenses are at the bottom. Good. You said that defenses right. are at the top. Okay. Yeah. And then poor offenses um, are on the left, and good offenses um, are on the right. So you can see the respective Kansas City Chiefs is a good offense, and the Texans is the worst offense. So what we're seeing in that that upper right quadrant is basically those are the the kind of elite teams. If you're looking at you know statistics, both offenses yeah. and defenses. And what do you know? There's our Bengals. They've been moving up, and what do we see them right by the Bills, who have kind of been slipping? Um, and then the other team, two teams, I think honestly, San Francisco and Dallas have been moving up defensively and offensively. Up and so up. up and up. It's I mean, nice to see that Eagles up there with the with that future. Yeah, with the Super Bowl. You know? That one's been interesting though, but because Dallas and San Francisco have see. been okay. moving up, right. our our futures actually quite dropped. It's only about five hundred bucks now. Um, so it's been uh, it's been a little bit interesting, but any any big takes for you, Kevin? I my big takes are Bengals, Bengals, Bengals. Here I'm um, I'm um, shitting bricks if I'm everybody because, like you said last year, they were not this efficient offensive and defensive. They were playing, they were punching up, but now they're actually mm-hmm. they're playing how they actually are on 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 the field and on right. the data. So. That's right. terrifying, and they're getting back to Jamar Chase. Ooh, fuck me, yep, right? Yep. So with, without without seeing like the trending data, like how this is sure, sure, evolved sure, sure. from week whatever to to current, we can just take this as a as a as a snapshot. Uh, I think just maybe a couple things that uh, that do jump out to me for as for as I guess mediocre as the as the as the team as a whole is perceived to be the patriots i mean i i didn't realize until basically this past two weeks how great their defense has been yeah uh no, I, for real. I, you know i saw some stats and you know and i saw this too and i was like 
wait a sec, let me check it. Sack leader is is Matt Hudon. You know, he's you know, on the Patriots. So and like I was just I was surprised. You know, I was I was fascinated to see that. And then yeah, as much as I hate it, you know, being in the you know as a Cards fan in the NFC West, like the Niners just look. They are just trading up so they look good. fast, dude. I, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. So yeah, I mean that's it's it's really hard to ignore them as much as I wanna wanna be a hater, but you got to give them props. I mean they they're swinging for the fences and the, the, they're just putting it all together. So they're they're incredibly yeah. efficient on both sides of the ball. And look look how fraudulent uh, Minnesota is. I mean they are literally <laughs> talk about definitely yeah. so those red red lines are literally average. They, they are almost dead center. So this team yeah. is just average. So yeah. talk about punching that, up. That's actually been like the consensus about like no one's really given them the the due credit I think this this season yet. They've they've kind of been pegged as like the the imposter in in the playoff yeah. race so to speak, you know. Now they so. did they did go against the number one overall defense and pass defense, which is um, the in, in New England. England. Now yeah. that ta- that touchdown we talked about changed things a little bit. And earlier in the season, they get they went against the Eagles. We saw, I guess, the tail of two two teams. Yeah. So we saw how bad that can go. But I'm definitely keeping an eye on them. I looked at their this the rest of their schedule. They play Green Bay, the Bears, and they play the Lions. So we're going to see um, we're going to have a chance, I think, to basically be able to fade the hell out of out of them um, in the playoffs. And I think they're going to get embarrassed by one of these better defensive teams. But primetime we'll prime time Kirk's going to show up, too, baby. So, yeah, it'll be. Uh, it'll be yeah, bad that news. too. And speaking of that, you know, one of the last takes I have is you see how bad the Browns are on defense. So, you know, Deshaun's coming back now. That's they're, they're doing all right there offensively. They're one of the they're definitely on the other side of average. Yeah. But th- he, he can't do anything to help their defense, right? I mean, right. Yeah, he, so yeah, exactly. How does that, you know, so you know, people are yeah. talking a lot about yeah. that, but I don't know that he's it not, actually he's, materializes. He's not coming in to be a savior at this point. I mean, they're 4 and 7, I think, like it's Yeah. You know, so all right, dope, man. Yeah, this is uh, this is a this is a interesting stuff to get into. So this is a good 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 inclusion there. All right, week thirteen, baby. We have three official plays and uh, and another live line to watch, as as we'll call it here. So yeah, um, first one. Um, actually, we have two of the uh, prime time games, so we'll just kind of work backwards, I guess, a little bit. So the Monday night game is the Bucks and the Saints. And yeah. we like them uh, minus three and a half, or the model likes them minus three and a half here. Then the Sunday night one's the Cowboys, and they play the um, Colts. Colts, yeah. This one. Yeah, so minus 10 there. And the Falcons, Falcons are taking on the Steelers, baby. So um, that's in Atlanta. We're going to ride with them money line because it's, it's it's essentially a pick them right now on uh, most marketplaces. So it's actually – it's moved. Yeah, so I guess when we get to that game, we'll, 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 we can break that down a little bit. But yeah. Um, okay. but, yeah. And then and then Lions plus three right now. I don't know if you have it handy. One and a half. It's still at one, one and, and a half. half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in theory, you can get this definitely at so minus So you can better, get it but... at 150. You can get it one – we can get it at 147 right now. So – yeah. It's so up to you. Whatever, what do you yeah, whatever, do? whatever your flavor is, you know. I'm gonna wait. If personally, yeah, I'm, I'm personally gonna wait to to see what, how it develops in game. But let's let's get into these uh, games and these matchups a little bit here. So first, we'll do the um, Falcons and the Steelers. So again, we um, take in Atlanta. And sorry, you said this has moved to minus. So, yeah, scarily, one. this is now moved to plus one and a half or plus one Atlanta. Um, model says they're going to win by one or more. Um, so dealer's choice here. If you want to take the point or you want to take yeah. the money line and get the odds, um, right. I'm going to take the odds and take the money line. Um, but, uh, but it's basically s- you're betting the same thing sure. be- via the model. If, if you think the point is important, mm-hmm. um, take it. Right. It, yeah. it looks so, like I mean, it may keep moving. So I, I don't know. I guess which yeah, the I'll, I'll, yeah. We'll keep an eye on that. That's kind of surprising this early in the week already, but you know, who knows. So I think but, what's happening is that the this team is operating differently in in the acute past in the last four weeks. So I think you got JJ Watt back. You got I think they Watt have one of back, yeah. yeah, sorry, TJ Watt. They have I think their safety and then um, Minka Fitzpatrick. He came back, and then their offense mm-hmm. seems to be 
humming. I don't know. Humming's maybe not the right word, but, mm. but relatively but not, speaking for the for the, how bad they've been this yeah. year. <laughs> and so I think yeah. certain people are handicapping these, you know, because you, you can model different ways, right? So you either take the totality yeah. of data, but you can take a select window. And I wouldn't be surprised. And and I was doing some research on um, on the trends, and and Seattle's trending actually way up from an EPA standpoint. So Seattle I, or, st- or sorry, sorry, Steelers. Uh, Steelers are yeah, trending yeah. way up. So I think that's probably what's going on. That, but I yeah. think Najee Harris got hurt, I believe. He did get hurt this on the Monday night game. I haven't heard if anything's gone on with that. So that, that could be something to watch. But yeah. and, and I think this was already kind of baked in because I think he got he was already out last game, but Kyle Pitts is done for the season um on the Falcons. So yeah, they're I mean, they got the they got the rookie, you know, Drake London, and he's been all right, and they got Cordero, but other, outside of that, I mean, it's been just a bunch of dudes out there playing ball, like no no name guys, you know. So yeah, yeah this one's this one's a, a toss up. Neither team is very efficient, you know. Both have negative EPAs. Um, Steelers more so, you know. The Falcons are almost average, essentially, yeah. uh, as far as that goes. But yeah, really this is just not a, this the, just not a sexy game, man. Like I'm, yeah, the overall rank there is so interesting, 29th and then 17th and. I guess what's driving that is defense. So I don't know. This is an interesting one. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, we know that what's driving the model right now is overall DVOA and then yeah. offensive DVOA. And I think the, yeah, the offense, offensive tip goes to Atlanta here. So I don't know. I mean, we, we kind of were talking about this yesterday. I think it's going to, we think it's going to be just ground and pound all day, but you know, basically mm-hmm. we're looking for Mariota to make some plays. Um, yeah. If you had, yeah, exactly. I think if yeah, I think if you're gonna have to place your faith, if you will, in, in one or the other, then yeah, my my buck would be on Mariota. Yeah, so. and I was just I'm looking up now. Um, does not practice, but Jalen Warren is Najik calls calls out Georgia. Okay, I don't know why that's <laughs> shout out. <Yeah. laughs> He's not even good for him. Um, he misses uh, he missed practice. Um, okay, yeah, so. So he keep an eye on this. I mean, uh, if you want to, um, if you want to, you can, you, you can get it now, obviously. But if if you think the line is going to continue to move and you want to take the uh, you want to take the points, then you know go for it. It looks like play. it looks like it's trending against us, which sucks. But um, but this is a this is a negative synthetic market, so um, we are happy about that. What that means, yeah. guys, not to use like you know crazy words or whatever. But basically, when you, whenever you can get zero or negative hold zero in that synthetic market, aka all it means is you're betting basically 50 50 odds more more. You're, you, the books hold less, aka they have less juice. Mm-hmm. So you're betting you can be right like you know almost exactly 51 percent of the time and still be profitable. This game as opposed meets that to right like here. yeah as opposed to like in your traditional you know minus yeah. 110 bets would you. 53 percent of the time yeah yeah 50 52.3 percent of the time which yeah. is a, which ends up being a 4.3 percent hold where they hold 4.3 percent of the whole the total so um if you're interested in that look up um negative hold or hold percentage um but this is one of those games yeah. so that's a, that's a good thing for us all right then uh the sunday night game which i don't know why they didn't flex this one out i don't i don't know who the other matches would but i feel like this could i didn't realize i didn't realize this is yeah. a sunday night yeah I this, feel is like ugly. this could have been a, an opportunity for uh, for improvement here but <laughs> uh, be them boys know, though big I, market i know uh, i yeah but jesus come on man whatever <laughs> So, I mean, uh, Cowboys and Colts, I mean, really nothing's going to jump off the page in terms of a surprise here. Like, this is just the Dallas domination game. And really? Is, really? Yeah, I, I don't know. There's really nothing on this chart. There's nothing that I think and, and, and any analysis that we could provide that you're going to hear on ESPN that's going to, like, surprise you probably in this one. When all the talking heads pick their – have their game picks for this week, it's going to be stars all across the screen, you know? Okay, but let I – will, I will say this. If there is one thing I can add to this game, don't get cocky with the spread. It is our – when I ran the model, it was a nine and a half. When I was pu- inputting the, the, the uh, odds data, range. by the time I ran it, 20 minutes later, it had already moved a point and a half to a 10 and a half and 11, and it's still moving. So Not that, yeah, if you want to, you want to hear something, don't wait to bet this. And our model saying the key number is 10 Massey Peabody, their key number is 10. 
Um, I did EPA. Their their key number is 14. Um, if you wanted to go by e- pure EPAs, but my point is, don't get cocky with this line. You already got backdoor on Thanksgiving. 10 seems to be the key number. I still grabbed it at nine and a half. So I bet it, I bet it as soon as I could at nine and a half and paid 118. Yep. So I just want to point that out because I agree with the domination, but there's well, caveats to dominations and in covering these many points right. at NFL is tough. Right. 100%. Yeah. And again, that's, you know, that's, that's one of the large, one of the big reasons why you, 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 you model is because just because you think and you can read stats and you can, whatever you hear guys tout x y and z doesn't mean you should take dallas minus a million like there, yeah, there are what do you think there, this gets to sunday night C- come by eight, sunday night 20 20 eastern oh man i could see this 13 and a half 14 can you if, if this thing is moving like that i you know what I, let me say this i'm surprised it didn't open already added at about 12 or 13 really yeah and, and it's in dallas in dallas sunday night so yeah, I, uh, I I would be shocked if it got up to fourteen. I was I'll, I'll say yeah. that. Like if I can see it definitely move to 12, 12 and a half. But beyond that, I think you'll see a little bit. Of, yeah, it looks uh, like it's hovering a lot around yeah, eleven. Now. You might see some sharps or something coming in on the other side to to keep it to keep it around that side. But yeah, yeah, Dallas be minus careful. ten. That's be that's careful. the key number for the model. Um, so don't take minus eleven. Don't take minus twelve. Anything else? Minus ten if you can get it. At minus one fifty odds are better. Yeah. All right, baby. Then the this Bucks. is not a great game to look forward to on a uh, Monday night. Either, I think so. I think. <laughs> I think so. I think this is finally Dude. Tom Brady has struggled against against the the Saints. This is not your grandfather's Saints. Um, these these Saints just uh-huh. suck. Um, they don't go marching. And, that's kind uh, of my po- that's kind of my point though. Just purely from an entertainment perspective, like this is okay. not a, this is not going to be a good game. But I, I, I mean, I do... Bucks win by a million. I, that is so entertaining to me when I when I've had to sweat all these goddamn games. <laughs> that's fair, you know. I'm, I'll, I will back you up on, on that one. Yeah. So especially if they're gonna if the Saints are gonna roll out Andy Andy Dalton again um, under center, are they are they, like they are. are they are they are they like trying to tank? I, you know, it's it's one of those things, man. Tank for they, two. They, I they, guess they've they've, they've looked like shit. Um, so. Yeah, and I don't kill. know why. Like, why not at this point in the season? Why not try Jameis? Like, he, he what did he play two games? I think yeah, maybe no more than. And no then he got hurt. Three. Yeah, and then he like, got hurt, I, and then they just they just they never came. went they back. Kind of I don't think they ever him, went right? back. So he had a, he had a comment or a quote saying like you know he feels like he got benched because he was injured, and that's sort of like an unwritten deal yeah. in the NFL. It's like you can. You can lose your job, yeah, sure, but you don't lose your job to due injury. to injury. And he feels like he lost his due to injury. So interesting, uh, interesting times down in New Orleans. So uh, Bucks again, models, models, models taking them at three and a half here. And yeah, key number I mean, is four, four and a half. So just FYI. So I, I could see this move into four. I don't know about past that, but it could. So just FYI, the key mm-hmm. key number is four. It's like four point three. So really, you want to play this at three and a half or four? Yeah, nothing more. Obviously, if you yeah. get it at three, I don't think the market's going to push it there, but no. maybe. And and so the thing that the, the thing that jumps out a little bit to me, um, looking at these metrics here too, is that if based on the eye tests and you juxtapose them against the uh, their offensive rankings here, I mean, no way in hell I would think the Bucks are top five. And no way in hell would I think the uh, the Saints are even top half of the league. You know? Yeah. But but um, yeah, things you know, there's Saints. Saints um have struggled um on a defense, which is I think kind of not characteristic to them. And then the Bucks sure. can't run the ball. Like they can't run the ball. I just know just from look, running some of the data today, uh-huh. they, they're I think they're they're the thirty second worst run offense. Rush offense. On the Bucks. Yeah. Yeah, which, which that oof. sucks, but that does suck. But there, that but look at their kid, EPA for pass. Yeah, the new kid on the block. Maybe he'll maybe he'll change the change the or flip the script a little bit because he looked pretty good last week. Uh, yeah, Rashard White, I believe is is the guy's name. But yeah, I mean Brady. I mean you know for all the, I mean this is you know five years running in a row. We're talk of the the goat's demise, but you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean for for as. 
as um, much of it they've taken a step back record wise through this point in the in the season compared to last, yeah, they still are generating, you know, efficient positive yards, you know, with with him under center. So he's not done. He's not done yet. So I I, I do think the Bucks r- relatively uh, roll roll easily in this one, and I I envision this one being pretty sweat pretty uh, sweat free. So. Which yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it as a good uh, good wrap up to the week. So hopefully, hopefully between um, uh, those three, yeah, and depending on how the the Lions game, the Lions and the Jags games develop, that um, again, it's already yeah. gettable. But you know, we'll we'll, we'll see if we uh, end up taking. And we it. can take a look on the EPA, so we can see Jags definitely have the upper hand offense and defense wise, although slightly offensively. Yeah, um, not by much. Not that yeah. much, but so, the Lions are just I mean, God I mean, do they even are they even attempting to stop anybody? It's <laughs> yeah. And I and yeah. I, I think that like I was saying, if you if you incorporate less data, so more recent data, that they, they have made moves here that improved on defense, but yeah, we know that they're they're giving up a shit ton of points. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, that's that's gonna be an interesting one. Um I'm not surprised that the the model saying the key number is three. I, I don't think the Lions win that game. Um, and obviously three is a pretty key number that he's, he's talking about backdoor, right? Had yeah. what had been from Cowboys say me, mom may leave the, the back door open. I think that's probably how you end up covering this plus three, to be honest. Right. But, um, but I think it's going to happen. I think this is going to be one you can grab almost. I think the game starts, you could probably grab it. You, if you guys start to watch these lines, honestly, the moment the game starts, it's a new market. And oh, yeah. I mean, Basically, they punt once. You're going to see plus three be able to. No one even has to score to get plus three, probably. Yeah, um, and, one, and you, a couple you, other you, games. Oh yeah, you'll, you'll definitely see a lot of in-game movement on this. I mean, the assuming especially that, uh, Jacksonville scores. Yeah, I mean, because the the over/under is like 52, I think, on this one or 51. And oh, a half. really? So okay. yeah, so there there's um, there are expected to be points of balance. So yeah, you'll see a lot of uh, teeter tottering as far as the in-game lines go. I think. Yeah, so we we all of the model prediction intervals are on the website. Bullytheboard.com is completely free, guys. I highly recommend you start keeping an eye on these, whether it's this week, but more in the totality of all the weeks because you get a way more volume, and I'm telling you, it's way more accurate than, than you guys are realizing. Some games I want to call out to attention here. Philadelphia model has them lower confidence interval at basically money line. So if that situation in a dogfight, you can grab that. That may be one to look for. Um, and then this one's disgusting. Two of them are disgusting. <laughs> this is the most disgusting. Denver plus 10 and a half. Um, I don't know that I can bet it. If I did, it's going to be for less unit, like a less half lesser. unit or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cause that one's, that one's, I don't know. Quarter have, unit. Yeah. I have no faith in, in Russell Wilson and that team and that <laughs> offense really. And then the other one, it sounds kind of gnarly, but like I was saying earlier, in it's divisional game. Thursday night, Bills plus two and a half. If you can grab that, is another one. And I'm not saying that that one maybe is not that probable, but then you can kind of see the Bills have been struggling. They they kind of start out slow. You could you may be able to grab that one. Um, that's really oh Cincinnati. Cincinnati is a good one. Plus yeah. six and a half. Plus six and a half. I think that's another one that you could keep a good eye on. Um, yeah. And you you know you know maybe and maybe it's something we can talk through too uh, as well. But you know <clears throat> maybe there's a threshold, or maybe we just start including not all but more of these key numbers or so, uh, some of the you know prediction intervals as live lines to watch, um, even though they're not. Gonna yeah. Be well, in. what I would what I would implore is we offer this f- completely free. We don't even make you give us your email. You guys can go there right now. You let's put it this way, Kevin. I use I literally open up the website and I I use the the the, the thing to know where I'm doing when I sit down and do this on Sunday. Right. So I mean, yeah, I but agree. You, but like, part of it you, is that's the service. Like that's what we're offering is the information. That's the hard. I know. Part I know you also know that people are like the. Oh, I wasn't even gonna say that, but 100, 100. <laughs> Uh, that people look at what's on the website and it's it's not 
intuitive to a lot of people. Let's say let's say that they see a prediction okay. interval, they see a high and a low. They're like, "What the hell am I looking at?" You know. So all right, that's fair. That's fair. I take it for granted that I I look at them all day and and like know what they mean. So that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, but I mean, it's but... as simple as this, guys. If you see a negative number for the home team, it means they're going to lose by that much. If you see a positive number for the, it's always in reference to the home team. It means they're not going to win by more than that number. Yeah. So if, if the spread is getting to one of those edges, then yeah. it just means take, take the edge either for the away team or for the home team. Yeah. So there's there, this. It's been it's been a good couple of weeks for um for in game plays. You know, based on the prediction interval. So we'll we'll yeah, we'll, we'll recap next week games, as well. Twelve games, eight yeah. wins, four losses. Yeah. Yeah. So hoping hoping that trend continues. So with with let's just assume let's just assume you take the Lions. You got four plays here. How how yeah. do you see the weekend shaking out? Um. Can can I get the Bengals in there too? Can I get a fiver? You know, if I can yeah, get the I fiver, I think we go three and two. I think we go okay. three and two. If it's just these four, who are you I like the Cowboys? In? The Falcons, to be yeah. honest. Okay. I, I I just think that I think that those changes on defense are too much right now, and I think they're having success on offense. And unfortunately, we go, we're having a bad defense. We we yeah. taking a bad defense, which sucks. Okay. Um. And then the Lions, it's not that I don't like it. It's just I think it's a shootout. It's a shootout. And, uh, and so I guess the we've happen, yeah. I guess we've seen it before though. Uh there you go. Dolphins, Lions. Dolphins are a more potent offense than the Jags. Yeah. And we saw what happened. So yeah, fair. but but we, we need, I guess, uh we would need plus four for that. But mm-hmm. um no, so four games, you give me these four games, I we three and one. We go three and one. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm 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 with you. Although I feel a little more secure in the Falcons game than I do the Lions oh, okay. game, but so I'm just kind of flip flop on that side. But I think the uh, oh, what just happened? Oh, <laughs> I blacked out, baby. My uh, my little light just died. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh God bless. All right, I think we're at the end anyway. But anyway, you I think Cowboys cover on. easy. Yeah, I'm, it, it was just the light. That was the only thing that died. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> it's a ghost. Uh, anyway, yeah, Cowboys roll. I think Bucks handle easy, and then yeah, it'll it'll come down to uh, come down to how the Lions play. But I think three one, baby. So I'm looking forward to the weekend. Yep, me too. Should be a good one. Talk All to boys, you guys next week, boys and girls. We'll see you next week. Let's have a great weekend. Make some money. Talk to you next yep. week. Take care.